Greetings, Captain. Oh, just the thought of landing at the Red Mile was making me sick. Now that we're here, I'm almost at a loss for words. Notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. Uh, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough, Stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. Let me be clear. You start something. Every one of us in here. Fame and fortune await you and If you have what it takes. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May. And I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Never heard of it. Never heard of it? I won't even ask how that's possible. <laughs> you're in for a treat, then. The Red Mile is the settled system's most exciting sporting event. Brave contestants from all corners of the galaxy come here to try their luck in a deadly race to the finish. Those that survive are celebrated as champions. Those that don't are quickly forgotten. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people up here place bets on how far you'll get. Make it back alive, and you'll stand to win riches and the admiration of your fans. I'm sure you can figure out what happens if you fail. Just a little introduction we do to get the fans all worked up. The Red Mile is a spectator sport, after all. Most people don't complete the course, so this is a way to give those unfortunate souls a proper send-off while they can still appreciate it. <laughs> You're too precious! Yes, of course they bet on our runners' lives. We're outside of the colonies and free stars for a reason. Betting is a huge part of the Red Mile's appeal. How better to make the most exciting sport in the universe more exciting? Repeat runners draw bigger bets. You should ask Donovan how much bets on him were worth before he was forced to retire. Of course. And if you're thinking of running, just let me know. I'll be glad to sign you up. Do enjoy your stay. I'm really not in the mood. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. We'll find out, won't we? 
Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Look, both of you are here for the same reason. So why don't you drop the tough girl charade and learn to work as a team? And I'm telling you, I don't have time to babysit rookies. I hope so. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. She won't be staying long, so I don't have time to brief you. You'll find out everything you need to know when you meet with her. I'm at a critical point in my investigation, and frankly, your presence here is an unwelcome complication. Now let's just get this over with. Follow me. participate in blood sports can possibly be considered celebrities or heroes. Oh, in my mind, they're worse than criminals. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? Wait, Autumn has friends? Like hell. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco? Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is Marco's incredibly paranoid never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. My thinking exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. The Red Mile is incredibly dangerous. I just don't want to see you take a risk like that. Someone who volunteers to run the Red Mile, a deadly stretch of terrain just outside the cantina. It's infested with hostile creatures, and few people survive. The ones that do earn a reputation. All right, it's your call to make. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you?
What can really I help going you with? to take on the mile, huh? I'm a little short now, but I'll May fortune smile on you today. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him? Exactly. It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes. I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you the motto. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from our patrons who will place wagers on your survival. what every runner says. Mission or not, I can't even imagine why you'd take part in such an uncivilized activity. There's always a better way. Now that we're clear on what's expected, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. revolting.
shot. Hey.
Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. Indeed you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. You made it. You must be tougher than you look. You're back. Are you okay? Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. I'll go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. I considered placing a bet against you. But I didn't. Here's the past you made. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. He's intelligent, well-connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. Only that someone wanted a meeting. Don't expect to catch him unprepared. He keeps a sizable force of mercenaries aboard his ship as bodyguards. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting.
I can't thank you enough. I'm in the market for lithium, platinum, and vanadium right now. I'm not asking for much. I know they're hard to come by. I understand. Well, thanks for stopping anyway. I'm going to try my luck in another system. You might want to back up a bit. This old Junker's grav drive is a little on the fritz. Fly safe! Sorry, this is taking longer than usual. So, do you have any hobbies? Does your list include towing research vessels to Jemison through deep space? If my grab drive doesn't start up soon, it might have to. <laughs> Personally, I have quite a rock collection. I used to spend my weekends gathering samples on Jemison. Maybe I shouldn't have let that slip at the office, huh? <laughs> That's probably why they sent me on this job instead of some poor grad student. <laughs> the one about the geologist in the music shop? It's a good one. A geologist walks into a music store and asks the cashier, got any rock? The guy looks him up and down and says, up and ready to go. Please disregard. I attempted an informal Well, one thing's certain, Graziani certainly isn't afraid to flaunt his wealth. This music is gonna put me to sleep. My word, some of these pieces on display are incredible. They belong in a museum. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Oh, I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. I'm willing to bet this deputy can handle whatever you intend to throw in our path. And who might you be? Sarah. Sarah Morgan. It's a pleasure to welcome you aboard, Sarah. It's clear you are a woman of refinement as well as beauty. How about we skip the compliments and move things along, shall we? Your deputy friend here could have a bright future, assuming we all keep our heads. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You're on my ship, 
outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today.
this retreat? It's supposed to be some new age healing center for reforming criminals or whatever. Going up in Ixel 2. I'm not holding my breath. Take a look. I want to do your business quick. Here. to see you. The 
Diego Monroe, at your service. Just making my way. Helga says I spent too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. The way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. These rangers are some hard-blooded folk. They ain't afraid of anything. 